Let us discuss about the convention of A085 and A086 microprocessor. processor. So basically, we will focus on the size. Whereas A085 is an 8 bit microprocessor and A086 is a 16 bit microprocessor. And apart from this, we will also discuss about Express Bus. The A085 is a 16 bit address bus, while A086 has a Having 20 bit address bus. This is also an address which will be to the eight six because we have extra address bus for a data transfer. And next is the memory. As we know, memory plays an important role in the processors. A085 can access up to 64 KB, whereas A086 can access up to 1 megabit of memory. And coming to instruction flow and byte learning, these are a major two. Features of A086, whereas instruction queue will not, it is not supported in A085, but as it is supported in A086. So, there is a main feature of the uh, A086 microprocessor. And next, coming to the pipelining technique, A085 doesn't support the pipelining architecture, whereas A086 supports the pipelining architecture. So, these two features we have discussed in the architecture review as uh, instruction queue can store the up to six bytes of instruction. and Pipelining technique we can fix the next instruction because the instruction is running. And next, coming to the input output access, where A085 can access up to 2 power 8 input outputs and A086 can access up to 2 power 60 input outputs. And cost wise, also, as we have the enhanced features, we can see that A085 is low, whereas A086 has a high in cost. Next, coming to the major part, as we have already discussed uh, the architecture, so the whole architecture is now compressed into the 14-pin IC. So we know that IC is an integrated chip. So compressing the whole architecture, that is bus interface execute and execution unit, the two major things are compressed into 14 IC. So starting from the VCC, as we know for every IC, we need the pin VCC. If we have the VCC, we should keep the proper grounding. So we have here grounding purpose one. 20 pin are given for the grounding purpose. So we have seen the supply and we have also seen the grounding. So now we have to transfer the data. So what that we can transfer the data addresses, address data address. So here you can see from starting AD0 to AD 19. So we have 20. Address pins, address data pins. We have 20 address data pins to transfer the data and the address. So here you can see uh, 16 to 19 data access uh, two pins. That is for two purpose, either for data address transfer or for the slide plans. So we are starting from S3 to S6. And we have an uh, additional feature like bus enable. So we you know that the H0, H5, H6 is compressed of execution unit and bus interface unit. So in the bus interface unit, everything is accessed by the bus faces. So we know we need an extra feature by enable pin we need to enable on which bus has to be enabled. We can choose the uh, bus enable status like and min and max. So we have up to 20 address bit uh, address data bus. We can have the option of min and max. When the uh, bus or address is minimum or mid, which address should be kept and like which uh, instructions to be fetched. Everything can be recognized here. So apart from min and max and VHG, next we are going to see the major uh, topic like interrupts, right? So we have uh, two interrupt things like non maskable interrupt and the uh, Standard interrupt. So NMA stands for non maskable interrupt and INTS stands for interrupt, which is used for programming. And apart from the VCC and block, we have the clock signal. As we know that the clock signal is used to uh, enhance the uh, clock frequency of the IC. So whenever the clock is given, the data transfer is getting enabled. So the clock frequency should be high for uh, faster data processing. And apart from the data address pins and um, interrupt pins, we have the control pins like the hold, hold acknowledge, memory or input output. So we have the option like when the device should be acting as memory and when the device should be acting as input or output device. So we have read and write. Apart from read and write, we have the extra feature like data transfer receiver. So when the device needs to be 
ready for transmitting when the device is to be ready for receiving. Apart from that, we have data enabled pin box. So, so whenever the data is ready for receiving or transmitting, the data enabled pin should be status menu. And apart from the bus I enabled, we also have the address hash enabled as it is common in the A085 etc. And INTR, which is used for the interface. So we have the interrupt acknowledgement. And also we have the test pin to test the you know, interrupts and other things. And we have ready and reset. Reset is to reset the IC and ready is from the external device to the IC that acknowledging it is ready for receiving and transmitting the data. So apart from that, we have the other timing control signals we like to cancel in CBT. T0 and D1 is for the timing, and the S0 and S1, these are for the state maximums. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the interrupts of B086 D1.